A book titled Political Developments in the Jantia Hills of Meghalaya, authored by Meghalaya Rajya Sabha MP Dr. W. R. Karluki, was released in Shillong today. Dr. Karluki's book, which chronicles the political developments in the Jantia Hills region of Meghalaya in the 19th and 20th centuries, was released by former Vice Chancellor of Assam University, Professor J. B. Bhattacharji. The book also examines the traditional, social and political institutions that existed before the 18th century. It also briefly looks at the Jantia Anglo relation and the annexation of the Jantia Kingdom in 1835 by the British and the changed position of the existing traditional social and political institutions in their relation with the British authorities. The book also talks about the awakening of political and social consciousness as a result of external influences and emergence of social organizations, particularly the Jantia Darbar. The book also has chapters chapters about the movement demanding a separate hill state and creation of an autonomous district council for the Jawai subdivision within the then united Khasi and Jayantia hills district under Assam. Of mine is like what you've seen is from 1835-1972 in which uh, I dealt with the political development in the district of Jayant hills uh, just after the annexation of the Jayantia Raja and then you know with the political development in the 1900 and then the ultimately here is the first MLA of Giant Hills 1937. I've been dealing with the political development and I did touch also on the you know the system of administration during the Jaintia Raja. So that will know the you know the history of the Jaintia Kingdom. And ultimately we ended with 1972 with the Hill State, when we got a Hill State. To me, today's book is on political history not on politics, okay? because author has described historically a series of political movements that happened in joint trials. Dr. Karluki's uh, advantage here is that he is a student of history. He taught history till his retirement in a degree college. He did his research under a political scientist in the Department of Political Science. So here is a combination. So even demo modern democratic politics, he has put it in a historical perspective. 